Reds hosting the Mets and saying welcome back to Shin Su Chu. He missed the last two games with a sore left thumb. Bottom two, Chu's facing former Red Aaron Harang with men at the corners. And a base hit in the center field will play Frazier. And Chu delivers 1-0 Reds. I guess his thumb's all right. Two batters later, the Reds have him loaded for Joey Votto, and he draws a walk against Harang. That forces in Ryan Hannigan, and it's 2-0 Cincinnati. The next man up is Ryan Ludwig, trying to make it a big inning for the Reds, but he'll tap one in front of the plate, and Travis Darno will simply tag Chu for the final out of the frame. Top six now, it's a 2-1 Reds lead, and Lucas Duda will tie the game with a solo home run off Johnny Cueto. That's Duda's 15th of the year, and Cueto goes seven, allowing two runs, just one earned, in his second start off the DL. Bottom eight now, we're still tied. Pinch runner Billy Hamilton comes on to take over for Ryan Hannigan after a two out single. He's 12 for 12 in steal attempts in his young career, and you can make it 13 for 13 as he takes second base off Frank Francisco. So now the Mets reliever must bear down against pinch hitter Chris Heisey, and he'll strike out Heisey swinging to end the frame and preserve the tie. Top nine, a roll this Chapman takes over, and he's throwing gas. He'll strike out Andrew Brown. The next batter is Juan Lagares. He strikes out looking, and after that, it's Darno striking out on a foul tip. Chapman K's the side. Bottom nine now. Chu is on second after a leadoff double, and with Brandon Phillips batting against David Ardsma, Chu takes off for third, his second swipe of the game, and the Reds are 90 feet away from a win. When the Phillips at bat resumes, he'll bounce one toward shortstop. Omar Quintanilla makes the play to first, and Chu has to stay put. The next batter is Joey Votto, who draws an intentional walk, his fifth free pass of the game, tying a red single game record and it's also based on balls number 132 for the season for Votto that ties a Reds record as well the next batter up is Ryan Ludwig up with men at the corners he'll pop out to the right side Daniel Murphy puts it away for the second out then Jay Bruce is intentionally walked to load the bases for Todd Frazier who will flare one towards center field Juan Lagares is there to make the catch and end the frame Ardsma wiggles out of trouble Bottom 10, though, the Mets will not escape this. The Reds have been at the corners once again for Shin Su Chu. And this is going to do it as Chu lifts a fly ball in the left center field. Game over. Reds win, Reds win. Final count of 3-2 here tonight. The game-winning hit comes off of Sean Hand. The Reds have won 6 of 7. And with that victory and the Nationals losing on Monday, Cincinnati and Pittsburgh both lock up playoff spots. The Reds and Pirates remain tied in the standings at 90 and 67, and both clubs are two games back of the first place Cardinals in the National League Central.